Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today is the start of the girls, uh, well, female family member card week. Every day this week I'll be making a card for a female member of the family. Um, well, for six of them anyway. And today to start off we're going to do an eclipse card for mum. Um, here in the UK we say mum. And I know in America you say mum. So, as I'm British, I will put mum. Um, yeah, to make this card I'm using Falling Flowers. I'm going to use them two images. And Free as a Bird. And I'm going to use them two flowers. Little flowers. And the leaves. And... For a card, we just need a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at one, four and one eighth, and folded in half. A piece of melon mambo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white card stock at five and a half by three and three quarters, and a piece of white card stock the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So to get started, we will stamp, start stamping our flowers. I have already made a load of masks that I used for my last card. I've got them off to the side here. They were actually stuck on the um, Falling Flowers box, but I had to take them off to show you the stamp set. So, with our Versafine Black Ink, we will stamp our flowers. So I'm going to go a little bit higher this time just so I can get some leaves at the bottom. There's that one. Clean them as I stamp them. Now, we should mask this one. Um, put a mask on. Because we just want to stamp that up a bit. And then with these Oh, got to mask these. Yep. And I'm going to have one there and one there. ones uh, don't know why that's not cut out as long as them leaves are hidden that's what matters to do a little one there and a little one there that's all our leaves done uh, flowers done now for the leaves I'm going to do Move 
those up over there so I can add a leaf there and the same with that one so I can add a leaf there I want to add a leaf over here Bits of copy of paper just so I can put one there. Right, and do the same over here. Just cover up the flowers. away after this and just put a leaf in the middle there I think that'll do <coughs> Much mark. You most probably can't see it, but I can. That's it. Right. Now we need to put the word. Happy birthday at the top, but you know me, if I've got to put it at the top, I turn it round. So, I'm going to put it right there. Happy birthday. Let's just finish with that. Now we're going to start colouring it in. I am going to do I'm going to use all these colours. But first of all, we need to colour the leaves in. where they're all sticking out.
hope you enjoyed doing this series. Believe it or not, this is the first video for the female cards. Well, the first one you'll see. But it's actually the last one I've filmed. As I've filmed all the rest. Right. Our little tiny flowers. I'm going to do in lovely lipstick. As I was saying, this is yeah, the last one to be filmed. I've done the boxes. So that was six male, and with this one, be six female. <coughs> right, and the bigger flowers. I will colour blue. Barmy blue, okay. Just say blue. My stamping up all deck in today. Not that I ordered much, but what's another new stamp set? And a punch. Just seen part of the leaf. saying about my new stamp set is watch this space right and with the dark balmy blue just colouring the folds that are on this flower where the petals have turned up There. Right, we're going to. Oh, I didn't want that one. What was this? Flirty flamingo. No, I don't want that. Right, these two big flowers are in petal pink. I need a yellow. No, 
I think I use Mango Melody for the middle. And on this one. And then this one will colour our own Highland Heather. Quite easy flowers to colour in these. You put the lid on it then. And then with the dark Highland Heather, what I did was with the bullet end, it just went round. The outside of the centre of it and draw a line just to point out that that's a different petal. So that's that. Now I'm going to go over to my laptop, uh, not laptop, my big shot and cut out the word mum with my dies. In fact, I haven't even got them out. Hang on a minute. <coughs> not even getting them out. And I will place them along there. Obviously even them out. But first I need to draw a line so that they'll be Great. Like a pencil. So I'm going to go up two squares. Yeah. That's straight. Yeah. Right, I shall be back shortly. Right, I'm back. See, I told you it wouldn't take long. So, let's take this off. Uh, let's put these 
these away. Because I don't want to go loosen them now. Right, let's pop this on here before we go any further. I don't think I balanced that out very well. Hang on a minute. Hubby! You're snoring. Sorry about that, ladies, gents. I'll be having his afternoon nap. Right, need my rubber. All this pencil mark off. Yep. And now we need to get our mini dimensionals. Cover these with dimensionals, but what I'm going to do is cut up each side. quicker and easier than putting individual um, a bit long individual uh, dimensionals on it but there uh, I shall put there and then add a mini there. Yep, that's fine. Right, do the same. No, nope, I've done that side already. Got a little bit this side. And then I've got that side. And some that side. Right. a little bit but just around the bottom and 
and then we've got the M left. thing is some thumbs doing this. And a little one there. So and then bring this in and this one goes here. That's a smudge mark on that. I don't know if that'll come off with it being on. Oh yeah. That'll go there. That'll go there. And that one will go there. So. all these backs off. And place them that where they come out of. Hmm, I think we need a mini dimensional on the bottom of that M. Mum, so that mum looks a bit screwed with. We need to put this on our card base, which is here. And 
and I'm going to put some gems on it. Not that I put any gems on the other one, but I'm going to on this one. I'm going to put five gems under happy birthday. need to do the same on this one. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. A mum, happy birthday mum. Birthday card. Birthday card for mum. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.